Well, welcome back. It's uh, faster than yours. <clears throat> Playing SimCity 5 or SimCity 2013, because it still hasn't been officially designated anything. Um, play with the graphics a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure how this video is going to turn out. I'm not seeing really high frame rates, so it might be a little choppy. In fact, uh, I already noticed it being a little choppy, so I'm going to adjust some of these things down just a little bit. And then it's trying to give you a better picture. Unfortunately, my computer does not like those kinds of things, so it is what it is. Um, if you remember last time, we, we added uh, extra space to our trade depot because we're getting full of coal. Uh, we also added, um, we took away some of our gambling area. We moved around our fire department over here, fire, large fire station to make way for our streetcar depot. Uh, now if we go look at statistics on the streetcars, we are doing 5,535 riders per day and 100 tourists. So, you know, that's a that's a good number. Um, we also added in this large bus terminal, and we're handling 2,500 riders per day there. 621 tourists. The average waits 44 minutes. I have added in every bus that I could add, <laughs> trying to make it more efficient to get uh, to get riders. Uh, apparently the traffic around here is hellacious. So, you know, you can see. Going to sue for harassment. This, the bus is way too crowded. Well, I don't know what to tell you, sister. I guess we are having an issue with a hazmat fire somewhere. Fire we have closed. Can I pull this? Can't pull this because it's on fire. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't put it out because I don't have the hazmat building. Apparently, we have another fire right here. Another large building fire. Oh, great. And a small building fire. <laughs> Man, these guys are nuts with these fires. Let's see if we can edit this. See, because I can't add this. School of Engineering. How much is it to add the School of Engineering? I think we're gonna have to do that. Forty thousand dollars, and I need more students. As you can see at the moment, I'm not really making a whole lot of money. I'm hoping that I will have more residents soon. So that we can have more. Oh, pulled those the wrong building. My bad. Uh, more residents so I can make more money. I mean, it's crazy. And, I, and I've, uh, I've already gone and lowered taxes. I mean, I'm down to 11, 10, and 10. And I can't turn off too many city services. 
Can't turn off water. I mean, my biggest expenses are police, fire, health, education, and transportation. Isn't that another abandoned building? Not enough places to shift free. Fire Marshal drives around the city visiting homes and factories and shops. Places the Fire Marshal visits are immune to fire for several days. I don't, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> More abandoned buildings? <sighs> stop and not connected. Streetcar stops are not connected. Why are streetcar stops not connected? Yeah, they are. And if I unleash the henchman, there are my henchmen. It's very pleased with the way you do a survey. Keep calm, commit crimes. Negative, sir. Okay, okay. Well, where else can I can I put freight at? Forty tons of coal. Are you serious? I mean This is my freight shipping warehouse, but there's nothing in it. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe they're digging up more coal than I can handle. Set off fireworks. Let's see what happens. To turn it back on. Yeah, I don't know. You know, two episodes ago, I was doing really good. 
they start messing with stuff and people start getting ticked off. More parts. I'll do it. Plop a park. Where can I put another park? Let's see, can I edit this guy and put another park right there? Small one. Yep. Cool, plopped a park. No, I don't want to learn how to do that. Any more abandoned buildings? Tell me we do not have a water situation. I pumped that friggin' well dry. I can't believe this. Well, I don't have any other nearby cities to complain, claim. Well, let's see what she says anyway. Go to your city region. As a mayor, you can run as many cities in a region as you want. Specialize in each city. Select an available city. Yeah, well. What kind of stuff do you have over there? Because I don't see any, like, rail. Is that rail? That'd be great. No, I can't click claim because it's off the screen. Why is this happening to me? No freaking way. Come on. Oh, I gotta get back to my city. Okay, well, I've got to start, stop recording for a few minutes and get this figured out. All right, so here we go. I, I think I may end up indeed claiming this city. Um, I mean, some of these other cities look pretty good with their resources. No, uh, but I like this this one. This one, this one. I like this one. Uh, it has rail, as well as uh, having shipping. Um, and so um, I can also get oil power, or no, this is water. Also do oil. Um, and for the most part, it's relatively flat. So, you know, I'd like to take it relatively easy if I'm going to claim another city. 
Um, don't want to spend too long doing this. Uh, of course, I don't want my other city to get out of control. Um, so, you know, here's where we're at. <laughs> Starting over from scratch from a brand new city. Congratulations, you're starting your own city for the first, for, from time to time, you'll be offered a short tutorial. You must build a road from the highway. Okay, so what I think I want to do is I want to build, let's see, I can use the wind form stuff to see. Oh, gotta build the power. The, the road in first. So what we'll do with the road in is we will go as far this way as we can. No. We will take this road straight. Escape. Escape. Let's try and take this road straight through. And then we'll go out to the side just a little bit. Now I can check the direction of the wind. Of course it's blowing in the wrong direction. So it looks like all of our residential will be out this way. And be looking at possibly oil power to begin with um, but I want to do I think I can get up and running with wind power on the cheap you know and get go ahead and get some of these things knocked out so let's put Put our wind power farm back here. Keeping in mind that we must leave room for growth of the wind farm until we can afford better, better places. Now I need to build some more roads. So uh, let's do this. Probably just going to go all the way. And we'll come across with this guy and connect him back down. Eh, a little crooked, who cares, right? So I'm not quite sure how I already have police sirens in my city when all my other city is over there. Not burning to the ground yet. So let's get in here. We're just going to do some simple residential stuff. Begin with. Why did I do that? Do some simple residential. One more little road here. And then come down here. 
from this road all the way to here. Same thing with this. And we can put in escape. Oh man. Put in some industrial zones. And that'll give places for our residents to work. And then we'll come back and check on the shopping. Because we want to build our commercial zones in here residential all right so let's go back to our other city Just take one last look before we finish out this episode. Looking forward to building up the resources and the needs of uh, that other city. And once we get that other city... Whoa, microphone fell over. <laughs> it's trying to move around. My mistake. Once I get that other city up and running, then I could start sending some of my excess resources or maybe some of that city's excess resources to this city. Uh, things like water, which, and power, you know, things that are coming up in, you know, short demand. I mean, this pump's running dry. How can it be pumping anything? You know? I mean, I've got and I can't put another filtration pump on it, can I? I mean, I already did one. And I don't want to knock down another section of residential zones just to build another water pump. It's crazy. I, I, th I think there's got to be something to this water pump thing uh, that, I'm, that I'm doing wrong. You know, because this one's running dry now, too. This isn't good. Uh... I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Well, anyway, it's faster than yours. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out with me for 20 something odd minutes. And as always, please put your comments down below. I do listen to some of them. Huh. Just kidding. I listen to all of them. I like replying and uh, do keep in touch. Like the video if you like the video and share it with your friends. Check out my Facebook and my Twitter. Those things do help me a lot. And I appreciate your time. Thanks again.